Hey everybody. Today we're doing some integrals involving inverse trig functions. There's two particularly important formulas. Here they are. They both come from the derivative rules for arc sine and arc tangent. We've got that the integral of 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx is the inverse sine of x, and the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx is the inverse tangent of x. There's antiderivative formulas for the other four inverse trig functions as well, but they come up a little bit less often. These are the two that you really want to make sure you know. We're going to do four problems. Here they are. Let's tackle them one at a time. Problem one, integral 2 over the square root of 1 minus 9x squared dx. So I see the square root in the denominator with uh, 1 minus something squared. So this is looking like an inverse sine kind of integral. The problem is that we've got a 9x squared there instead of just an x squared. So we want to do a u substitution, and we want to do a u substitution that's going to remove that 9x squared and replace it with x squared. The one we want is u equals 3x, because then u squared is 9x squared, and the denominator will be exactly what we want. Once we make that choice of u, the next couple steps are mechanical. Differentiate, solve for dx, and plug back into that original integral. We take out the 9x squared, replace it with u squared. We take out the dx and replace it with du over 3. So now the 2 thirds factors out, and we've got the integral of 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared. That's an inverse sine. Last step, take out the u, replace it with what it's equal to, 3x. We get 2 thirds, inverse sine of 3x plus c. Problem 2. Integral sine inverse of x over the square root of 1 minus x squared, dx. So this is a more straightforward u substitution. We're going to let u equal the inverse sine of x, noticing that the derivative of that is a factor in the integral, 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So let's do it. Let's differentiate, solve for dx, and then plug into the original integral. We take out the sine inverse of x, put in u, take out the dx, put in the square root of 1 minus x squared du, and we see we have a cancellation. Those square roots are going to kill one another, and I'm just left with the integral of u du. Integrate it to get 1 half u squared plus c. Take out the u, replace it with what it's equal to, sine inverse of x. We get 1 half quantity sine inverse of x squared plus c. Problem 3. Integral of sine x over 1 plus cosine squared of x dx. So here, the substitution u equal cosine x is a very natural one, because sine x is a factor in the integrand. That's one of the main things we look for when we choose our u substitutions. So we're expecting that sine x in the numerator to cancel, and in the denominator to have 1 plus u squared. So there's going to be some sort of inverse tangent going on here. Let's see this uh, directly. If u is cosine of x, then du dx is negative sine x, and dx is negative du over sine x. Plugging back into the original integral, that sine x over 1 plus cosine squared x dx becomes negative sine x over 1 plus u squared times du over sine x. And then, of course, those sine x's are going to cancel as we expected. Now, that integral of 1 over 1 plus u squared is an inverse tangent. So negative inverse tangent of u plus c. Last step, take out the u, replace it with cosine x to get our final answer. Negative tan inverse cosine x plus c. Problem four. Integral of 3 minus 4x over 1 plus x squared dx. So this is a slightly tricky one. It's, uh, you have to have the insight to break this up into two pieces. But once you see that, it gets easy. Um, because the integral of 3 over 1 plus x squared is going to be quick. That's just an inverse tangent. And the integral of 4x over 1 plus x squared is going to be something we can do with a u substitution. u equal 1 plus x squared. Um, we've already done three u substitutions in this video, so I'm not going to do every step on that last one. We end up getting 3 inverse tangent of x minus 2 times the natural log of 1 plus x squared plus c. Notice that if you differentiate that, you get the original function back. The derivative of 3 tan inverse of x is 3 over 1 plus x squared. And the derivative of negative 2 ln 1 plus x squared 
is negative 4x over 1 plus x squared. So we really did um, get the right answer here. By the way, this idea of breaking up the integral when you have a, a fraction with a sum in the numerator or a difference in the numerator comes up fairly often. You should watch out for that. It can help you on a, a wide variety of integrals.